Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of The Set List of Life with the current bandmates of Dolly for Sue. Tonight we have with us Aaron on guitar. Hello, hello. Christine on the drums. Hi there. Kirsten on the keyboard. Hello. And I'm Leslie, your vocalist for this evening. Tonight our song is uh, It Don't Come Easy by Ringo Starr. That was a Kirsten suggestion, a good suggestion. Because we were having trouble thinking of a song. It didn't come easy. <laughs> it did not come it easy. Didn't come, it don't come easy. Nothing's coming easy today. <laughs> no. It's, it's, some days are like that. Some days are like that. But yeah, and I, I listened to the podcast from last week, this oh, morning. Okay. And I heard about your Ringo star. Yeah, how about that? And Caitlin Clark, which I'm very jealous about. Yeah, right. <laughs> and so, and my husband was walking through. I was, so my headphones weren't charged. My earbuds weren't charged. So I was just, I... It was funny because I was um, changing my sheets when you were talking about making the bed. And oh, so, <laughs> yeah. So are you a tight corner, hospital corner maker? Um, a- well, I try starting out that way, but I have, <laughs> right now we have those bamboo sheets and they're really slippery. Oh. And they, you just, they're they don't just tuck. all No, they're all over the place. They're, it's, <laughs> but Do you but like I have them? an excellent comforter. Um. No, <laughs> not not really. Okay, but <laughs> you're like, man, it's there like, you go. Oh, it's fine for now. We do product reviews too. <laughs> yes, I'm, like, I'm working on. You know, I'm always looking for like the perfect sheets and the perfect comfort. Like, as a, you know, I like the way it, it's, but it's it's like a needle in a haystack. I know, and they always false advertise sheets. Yes, too, they make which them is sound the most so irritating great. thing. Like yeah. they're supposed to be cooling, you know, for us mm. older ladies mm. to get hot at night. And maybe they are, but, they, but they're but they really slippery and they okay. slide all over the place. Cotton so. per kale. Just go cotton per kale. They're cool. They're crisp. They wrinkle. Who cares? But okay. most all comfortable right. sheets you can buy. I'm ha- currently right. having problems with the middle section of my sheets coming up. What? The middle section? Yeah, the middle section. So you have like the I'm corners and the corners. Oh, oh, And then oh. in the middle- <laughs> They come that up. part like starts to come up and then you're like, you got extra fabric fabric that you're laying on and Ooh. it's kind of like. Mine just, they mine just come up all over. They were just, they slide yeah. around all over I the like place. It. Yeah. But I, I don't, don't do anything about it. I know. So. Right. But this bigger <laughs> fish to fry. But I've walked in and like my wife, her corner is completely off the bed and like. Oh, yeah. that. And no, she's totally like, does. whatever. And I'm like, how, what do you mean? Whatever. <laughs> Ours are how all do you off do the that? bed. Ours are yeah, all off the bed because we can't keep them on the bed. I mean, if I could, <laughs> I would. <laughs> okay. Don't okay. have that problem in my yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that took me two seconds to react, but that was hilarious. That was good. One, oh. Anyway, because I'm all, I was my brain was still stuck on the corner that's off right. on your bed. That would drive yes, me yes, insane. Yes, stuck on a technicality. I, I, I was, I was stuck because I'm thinking that affects you. How do you live like that? Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah, that's yeah. So funny. funny, funny, funny. Oh my gosh. All right. So she doesn't anyway. make the bed either. Then if so, if she can sleep with that corner off sometimes Oof. yeah yeah i know I, <laughs> that happens just yeah i mean i don't like it but um oh but then my husband this morning was walking through when you were talking about the amish and the maslow's uh oh yeah hierarchy, yeah, yeah. hierarchy of needs and he was he was like wow deep <laughs> See? You know? we said like, we were going no. deep so this is what happens when i'm not there and that's exactly <laughs> what happens yeah. when you're not there when you're here we talk sheets right <laughs> <laughs> so the, the intellectual you're bringing us down here right or maybe you're bringing us up she's keeping us she's keeping us at a good level she's keeping it real yeah real so but yeah i was like wow yeah my friends are smart oh my goodness gracious but um, yeah, but yeah, Portugal was good. Yeah, so tell us. Oh, let's talk. Tell us. Let's talk vacation. Story. I'm jealous. Okay. So we went to um, we went to the not everywhere northern, but the northern north of Lisbon this time. This and time. This time. Sorry. Well, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Well, we we we've been to Portugal a few times, but um, we started out in Porto, and Porto is a beautiful city on the river, just gorgeous. People are very friendly. Um, we spent like two nights in Porto, and then we went to the Juro Valley, which is the wine one of the wine regions, and it's beautiful. Like it's all I just think I sent you a picture. Yeah, you all did. Yep, yep. Terraced mountains, these old vineyards. You know, they've been there for hundreds of years, and 
But um, we thank God we had a driver to take us to the Juro. And I was a little bit worried when after, because I booked this wine tour months ago. And a couple weeks ago, they had really bad forest fires there. Oh. Um, and I was worried, you know, that that was probably the most expensive thing we did because it was all day with a driver. And um, so I contacted them. I'm like, like a week out because, you know, you had a week to cancel. And I was like, I really want to go. But, you know. Right. Um, online, people are like, some people are like, oh, it's fine. And other people are like, stay away. Like, it's dangerous. And yes. like, you don't know what to believe. Right. Yes. Um, so, but they were like, well, we'll waive the one week thing. We we're pretty sure it's going to be fine next week, but if it's not, you know, so I'm like, okay. So we, this driver picks us up at our hotel. His name's Alex. He's a great guy. And, um, when we start driving out, we are driving, like there is, there were fires up to the road, like up to the highway. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So we were driving through, like everything's charred. I'm like, whoa. I mean, that's pretty close into the city. And right, then, right. And then it gets better. Um, anyway, by the time we, when you're out into the Jura Valley, the roads are, you know, there are these winding mountain roads. They are like three narrow. feet wide. Yeah. Right. So right. narrow. And um, and he's Scary. passing, you know, trucks. Oh, God. <laughs> and there's no guardrail. And we're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, and he, he was a cool guy, too, because he used to be a banker. And he... Um, quit his job to become a beekeeper. Hmm. And he also just drives like these wine tours just, you know, for extra money. And Alex the beekeeper. I yes. like this guy. I know. Yeah. Very cool a man guy. after my own heart. I know. I was like, you know, I admire that. Like, yeah. and yeah, he's like, yeah, I sell my honey. And I'm like, huh. So, um, so that was a fabulous day. And we had this farm to table lunch with like different wine tastings. And we saw, um, we went to some different wineries and had tastings, and they actually stomped the grapes there. Oh yeah, oh okay. yeah, like and you old, can do did, that. Did you, I was gonna say, did you get to do it? No, we didn't. But I'm next year. Okay. Like we we have That'll been be talking fun. to people, and we kind of and um at I first be fun. my husband's like, I want to stomp the grapes, and I'm like. Like if you've ever seen, I mean, he's a great guy, but his feet. <laughs> See, this <laughs> is this is my whole thing with the grape stomping. Who? I'm not drinking that wine. Don't bring any home. Well, that's nasty. <laughs> you know that you've drunk that wine. I know it's, the alcohol kills it. Yeah, well, that's why uh, I was at first. I was like, uh, and then I'm like, the alcohol kills it. And we had the wine there, and I mean, it was delicious. Like I'm, I'm like. <laughs> Okay, whatever, you know, it'll it's be like, fine. It's blackberries and oh yes, wood the nose barrel of- and toe fungus. Yeah, <laughs> <Right. laughs> but it was it was good, and we stayed we stayed overnight in the Juro, and we stayed in this hotel that and that was the like most of we stayed in these kind of small little boutique hotels, like you know twenty rooms, and the people are really friendly. Um, but in the Jura, we stayed, it was like at a resort and it was a winery and they, apparently they, they did, um, a photo shoot of the sports illustrated swimsuit models there oh. this summer. So oh, it's not out yet. It's fresh. I know. But so, so yeah. now you have to pick up that issue. Well, we get it. Like Kevin's been. Just for the article. <laughs> right. <laughs> Kevin, just for, Kevin gets Kevin, it. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin has, has been. It. Kevin has. Just that issue. Had, no, he's, <laughs> he gets year round since he was like 10 years old. Like he's a lifetime subscriber. Okay. So we will get this. We always do. Okay. So cool. So anyway, so that was, but that's not who was there the day we were there. It was like a bunch of old people. Yeah. <laughs> like, so. well, you know. But anyway, but it was beautiful. That's cool. Nice. Good, good, good. And then um then we took the train to Coimbra. And that is a very cool place. Um it's a really old university. It's like the oldest, you know, kind of most famous university in Portugal. I think it started in 1290. Oh wow. Um and everyone, they all dress like Harry Potter. I was going to say. Yeah. So I sent you a photo. But the funny thing is, so someone told us that, but you're, even though you know that, you're not really prepared. Yeah. And so, so we're walking into the, we're walking through this kind of sketchy, oh, so we're staying at this hotel and there's a rooftop bar and we we're like, oh, we're talking to the bartender before we go out. And um, I'm like, well, it looks like there's some nice places over there. What's that street? And he's like, oh, don't go down there. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> Someone will sell you drugs. So we're like, okay, we're not. We I'm won't like, go there. I'm like, it looked cute. I would, I would right. have absolutely gone there. <laughs> um, but after that, we're like, okay, so we're the hotel is nice, but the, 
that neighborhood's a little sketchy. And we wanted to go towards the university and just a few blocks. So we had to go through kind of, it just seemed sketchy because Mm -hmm. the businesses were all closed. Like there weren't bars or, you know, there weren't restaurants. It was just like daytime stores. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, we walked through these kind of scary dark streets. And anyway, we'd go into this big kind of lit up, beautiful courtyard. And all of a sudden, all these young women come down they're coming down the street, walking down the street. They're all singing. And, you know, these are cobblestone, like limestone streets. Um, they're all singing in their Harry Potter uniforms. What were they singing? Uh, well, I don't know. It's in Portuguese, but it was <laughs> like some sort of traditional, you know, it, it's so, it was at the beginning of their school year. And uh-huh. so, and I whip out my phone and I'm like, think this is so cool. So I'm getting some video to show you guys. Right. And these girls come up. And this this is one of those like like quotes that like's gonna sound bad, but she's like, um, you need to delete that video. And um I'm like, why? Like she's like, well, they're they're minor girls. <laughs> like, so we're not allowed oh. to video. Yeah, you're not allowed to video the minor girls, but it wasn't like it doesn't you know, it sounds worse than it is. <laughs> so, okay. Um so but they so were you still, deleted the video. So I deleted the video, but they said we're upperclassmen and we'll post for a picture. So I got a picture. Of so it was a picture. Yeah, you said. So that did was you ask the girls. Them to, you should ask them to sing for you. I should have. I was like, you know, I was just so kind of flushed on, like, you know. But why the capes? So they've just been wearing that like forever. It's like, just, it was just, it's just a fashion choice. It's not like weather or. And everybody has one. They are in the picture. Yeah. Looks- so well, so I think that. So I read afterwards um, that it's tradition and. I think they have the option. They used to have to wear them and now it's optional. But at the beginning of the school year, it's almost, maybe it's like sorority rush or something. Like they're all doing their beginning of the school year things. So they're all wearing. And so like all the girls come in, the underage girls. So I had to go with the video. (laughs) And uh, then all the men come in singing their songs. And I knew I'm like, okay, no, no videos of underage men. I'm like, (laughs) anyway, so, but it's very cool. And they're out, they're out singing. They like, then they're all, they have their like little singing groups and they're performing. And um, so anyway, that was super cool. Cause I guess JK Rowling, she used to live in Portugal and apparently oh. there's a lot of inspiration for Harry Potter there. Oh, there. Interesting. All right. And is it just at that school or is it like the whole town that's? The whole town is cool. The whole town is very, it used to be, I think it used to be the capital and it's the university was built on an old palace at the top of the hill, and it's just cool. Huh. Oh, um, wow. And they have a really famous library that I thought of you, and I didn't. So I looked that up. I looked up the Harry Potter stuff today to make sure that I wasn't lying on here. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> no one fact checks us. It's, it's all good. Yeah. No. 91 now episodes they're going to start. Right. Anyway, ain't happening. It's rumor has it that. Um, it, J.K. Rowling, you know, was inspired by that. But um, this old library, and we, you can tour the library, and um, all the all the tickets were sold, so we didn't get to go in. But I looked, and apparently that library was also, it's super old with, like, all these old books and, you know, hidden walls oh. and very oh. Harry Potter-like. And the cool thing is they have bats because the books are so old to eat the insects that um, every night they cover up the furniture and they release like 20 and they bats. Let the bats out. They let the bats out to eat all the insects so they don't eat the books. Yeah, bats are actually That's good cool. Cow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. Aaron, yeah. Aaron's, Aaron's doesn't Aaron's look like, like he Aaron thinks it's cool. Aaron's like, Aaron has a skeptical no, look. No, 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 Aaron's no, like, no, no, I'm somewhere else right again. now. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what I'm is, sorry. What is going on in that head of yours? I know, you've been like this all night. Uh, oh, spacey. Well, it's... <laughs> You just had a, you had a, a day. Week. It don't come easy. But the bats don't bother me at all because I used to go spelunking. So right. oh, bats, bats don't everywhere. bother me at all. But that uh, where I was was there is, and I'm sorry, I'm going off the left field. Yeah, no, no. There is a place in DC that it's this tiny place, but it's got I don't remember what it is. It's this cool place in DC that has like 72 hidden rooms in it, <gasps> and even to this cool. day. All Let's 72 go. have not been found. So oh. it's like you go in, it's, I think it's like in a row house type of thing. And there's Let's all these like hidden this doorways and, and all this. Is it, it open keeps to on the coming public? across my Instagram oh. page. <laughs> okay. Which I keep we'll on it. I'm like, that I know, we'll bit. get to that in a second. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know, she's shaking her head. We'll get there. We'll get there. Is it open to the public? I be- well, yeah, I believe so. 
Because well, okay, I've seen fine. Isn't all these field trips we need to be going on? Yes. Yeah. But it, this that is, you were talking about this place, I'm thinking to myself, this reminds oh. me of that place. Let's go That's and let's at. go and we'll all wear capes. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, or you will. Yeah. I, I wear, should say you I'll wear my Harry Potter costume. You start and yeah. yeah. we'll, we'll meet be you right there. You'll yeah. be so much cooler that way. Yeah. And we'll sing songs do in you, Portuguese. Do you own a cape? Because I'm not no. buying a cape. I don't have a cape, actually. Oh, I actually have a a. Hogwarts cape for oh, one of the kids. Oh, oh we might. Yeah, we I might bet in you our do. Drawer. I think we, we did. Had, costume drawer. We yep. did at one Somebody point. Somebody was but Hermione. And Jack, I think, was Harry Potter. Ooh, yeah. we might Someone's have two got of them. it. Yeah. yeah. But they probably won't fit us because they were kids' capes. Oh. Um, it's a cape. Like, capes are, <laughs> capes are roomy. <laughs> the whole idea behind a cape is it's, it's big. It's just. Yeah, kind of drape drapey. it all over yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, maybe. All right, I'll look. I'll Although see. I have been to. No, I'm not looking. Anyway, I'm not what are you this doing? This place. <laughs> <laughs> or like in the Incredibles, where is it? Irma. She's like no case. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love her. I, love her. I forgot about her. She's funny. So a friend of mine, and then we can get back to your yeah, story. Yeah. yeah. Um, she built a house years ago, but they built a secret room into her house for her kids. Like so, her kids had this secret like playroom. That's like, so cool. You go behind this. That's the case awesome. and you get into the secret room. I remember, I, oh, that, I would again, love that. Side story. This reminds me of a movie that I saw where some guy was trying to break into the house and the kids had the secret room in the middle and like they had access like to the second floor, but it was all in the middle of this house and the thief couldn't get them and there was a kidnapping and I was, yeah, it was, yeah. So, mm. hmm. yeah. Okay. Anyway, well, no, I was going right, to say tonight rooms. is going to be a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we're, we're no, don't come easy. But on the secret room thing, secret room, it'd be cool to have a secret the, room. I'm, I just finished a podcast, um, and it was a, a, about this guy whose father had um, a, was diagnosed with some kind of narcissistic, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it was an, it's a, a diagnosable mental illness thing that mm-hmm. had to do, with, anyway, but he, but it's about, like, he talks about his childhood and his dad built like there were secret rooms and the, there was like a panic room in the basement. He didn't even know was there. See, that's, oh, wow. And there's awesome. like, and in the attic, when they went to later as an adult, when he went up to the attic, it was the whole house was wired with cameras and, um, oh, and audio creepy. like, and, it, and he had it labeled like Ew. Danny's room, the kitchen. No, that's so like the dad Aww. was up there Ew. watching them. Like oh, that's... he was paranoid. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's right, a right, long right, thing. Right. He had a disease. Right, right. right. But, but right. like he had that's like secret. He had secret um, compartments in the bathroom. <gasps> like just all these secret. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay, that's. That's uh, just, it is. Yeah, Kevin Bacon has a new show out. Wow, we're going left and right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin Bacon has a new show, and he's outside with his daughter, and he's measuring the house. And she goes, what are you doing? And he says, there's five feet of this house that it's unaccounted for. What? Oh, yeah. So, like, it's bigger on the outside than it is on oh, the inside. right. So what's in there? So his daughter, like, Where goes inside. She's like, I'm going to go get my doll. And he's like, yeah, cool. And she goes in, and, and like, he leans around the corner and she's gone. And he's like, okay. And then it shows later, stop playing with me, blah, 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 blah. And he's going around and, and it's starting to click. Like there's a hidden wall here and he finds the hidden wall and it opens up and that's the beginning of the, the trailer. Wow. Like, oh, interesting. Ooh, this is going to be is, good. Okay. Wait, and this is a series or a, I saw Kevin, but ba- is it like a horror, pretty sure it was a horror pick. movie I, or is I, it I, I don't like, know if it's a series. I don't know. What was it on? <laughs> Louis. Yes. No, we have all we're, these questions. We're really we're, we're, and okay. Aaron does not Who, have answers. Oh, don't you know come easy. I'm asking here. I know. Don't come easy. He <laughs> told us everything he knows. All right. So we're, we're, someone's going to have to Google. Okay. I want to know because it sounds, I like Kevin Bacon. Aaron has stated multiple times tonight <laughs> that just he's not coming easy. It's not coming easy. And we just keep pushing. Don't we're, come we're, just, we're just picking on him. <sighs> trying to help you out. All right. right. So All right. so continue. So, okay. so oh, then you went to the college. So, oh, anyways, well, so after the college. So the crazy thing about the college is all the students come. They're from all mostly Portuguese, although they're you know from all over Europe. And it's apparently it's a pretty good school and kind of hard to get into. But they all go home um, for the weekend. So you know. So like the next thing school? we're going to we have another hotel in. We're going further south after that. And we're like, okay, so we get to the train station, um, you know, slapping our bags, and we go to buy the tickets. It's like at we're it's at two o'clock and we're buying the two thirty tickets and they're on the hour. 
Um, and the guy's like, yeah, we're sold out until 6.30. Oh, no. And the train station's in the middle of nowhere. And, like, so we're schlepping our bags to, like, this kind of sketchy restaurant. And, like, nobody speaks English. And normally you can kind of, like, Portuguese looks a lot like Spanish. And normally the menus are easy. But, like, I don't know. Right. Like, Kevin, like French Spanish. We're looking at the menu. Yeah. And Kevin's like, he's like, let's just pick something. And I'm like. You know, you should kind of usually like pay she or, you know, right, like, right, right. like I got nothing. <laughs> so, but anyway, <laughs> finally we, we order something and like, thank God, because, um, you know, the, the train was late that we end up getting to Sintra. It's, we get to our next hotel. It's like 11 o'clock at night. And, um, and it, it looks like it's the shining hotel. Like, oh no. Yeah, I've, like, I've stayed in one of those. <laughs> yeah. It uh, seems deserted, and the the girl at the front desk is super nice. But what Kevin's like, is like, is you know, and this restaurant open? Is the bar is a room service? Because and thank God we ate at this restaurant, right? That earlier. we didn't even know what we were eating because there you was know, nothing. That, there was food. nothing, and she's like, no. She's like, well, I can try to call like Uber Eats for you, but you know, and we're clearly in the middle of nowhere. It's on the beach, but it's like not close to anything. And we're like, let's just go to bed. Were the twins upstairs in the hallway? Could <laughs> right, they? Yeah. Riding their tricycle? <laughs> no, yeah. no. Okay. Yeah. Just asking. No, it was creepy that we got there. And I was like thinking like, I don't know if this was a good idea. Like it feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. That's and red rock. Yeah. Red rock. Um, yeah. Montana. That was the hotel oh, in really? Montana. Yeah. We were, yeah. Ooh. That's not a good feeling. No. But anyway, but the next morning, there's all kinds of people at the breakfast buffet. We're like, oh, okay, it was just, <laughs> it just shuts down early. <laughs> um, not even that early, but it's still, it was weird to right. feel like there's nobody there. Um, but anyway, so we, the next day we're going to the palaces in Sintra, and they're famous for these palaces. Um, it's like the number, the biggest tourist attraction in Portugal. But um, we asked the front desk and she's like, oh yeah, there's a hop on, hop off buses, which, you know, they have those everywhere. Right. Um, like that's easy. So we'll just do that. So we bought our hop on, hop off tickets before we got there. And <laughs> we decided to Uber to that. She's like, oh yeah, you just go to the main train station in Sintra. So Kevin types something into Uber. I don't, <laughs> anyway, and I'm thinking, and this Uber driver, like the roads are really windy and we're in, the, obviously we're in the back and it feels like we're really long. I'm like, I didn't think this was this far away. So he finally like drops us off in front of this mall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, this isn't it. And, and but at this point, I am so carsick. Right, right. You just got to get out of the car. Let's just go to the mall. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I see that there's a pharmacy in the mall, and I'm like, I need to get to the pharmacy. Ooh, like, did they have an orange Julius? No, no. Oh, okay. But yeah, all I all we did was, you know, so I get I get my carsick bands, I get the wristbands, <laughs> I get the like I ingest some kind of medicine, like I don't know what it was. Right. The pharmacist said, you know, take these every three hours. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um anyway, so when we we get we actually go to the real train station and it takes forever to get to the bus. So there's like two different bus routes and it takes forever. We wanna, you know, they told us what we should do. And um, there's only one, like the one bus route that we want to go on, like doesn't seem to be coming around. We finally see, like Kevin sees this bus, but it's empty. There's no driver. So he goes down to look. He walks down to look. We we go walking down to find see if there's another bus. We come back and that bus, it was the only one and it's gone. It's oh, left. Oh, no. And so, so we spent most of the time waiting at the bus station. <laughs> but we, um, we finally... We get we get a bus and we go we like fly through this palace because at this point we find out it closes at five thirty and this is like three thirty right and we realize that you have to go back to the main train station to get the bus for the next route and it like it takes forever so so anyway so we're coming out of this palace and there's this guy whoops we got flies we have flies um. There's this guy that's like, hey, I'll take you to the next palace for 10 euros each. I'm like, we're doing this. Like, I'm not going to. If we go back down the mountain and wait for the next bus, we're never going to see anything. Right. At this point, you know, I've been car sick like for half the day. And um, so we decided to get a ride with this guy. And he had to wait until he fills up his van. Well, so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 
I must interject right is this, here. Is this just a random? No, it's the guy see, that this does is this my for question. A like this was this like was he did was he an Uber driver? Was it a tech? <laughs> no. You want to get in my a, white he's just van? A guy. <laughs> was he also <laughs> a candy? Did, did, he, did he have a little puppy? <laughs> <laughs> was he? Uh, yeah, he was actually like, very well dressed. <laughs> he was yeah, very. I don't care. Sure. It's handsome. <laughs> it's handsome, that's handsome, well dressed. That's all it takes to get Kirsten yeah. into a van. He was handsome, well dressed. Was handsome. She grew up he in Iowa. Very friendly. <laughs> I know. He seemed, yes. It's a little different out there. He seemed very okay. polite. So this is just. At this he, point, I just don't want to get back on the bus because I know the bus. There's is two take of us forever. out here who are looking out for your safety. All right, that's, just well, so you that's know. all. Yeah, that's all. Okay. It's, no, I, I got in this van with a stranger. Okay. Um. So anyway, I you paid the stranger I to get in his van. Yes, I did. Okay, um, anyway. So we anyway, so the van is like this old rickety van. Like the guy is like really dr- well dressed, and then we like get to his van. And I'm like, oh geez. But anyway, but well, that's whatever. His, that's his. That's his thing. Yeah. That was the flag right there. <laughs> <laughs> it was waving in your face, and you're like, yeah, but he's cute. <laughs> okay, he's cute. He's cute. He's charming. Um. Anyway, so, so it was Jeffrey Dahmer. I know, I know. And Ted Bundy. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, so. go ahead. Anyway, this is Reuben, and he was fine. <laughs> Reuben. 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 Yeah. So anyway, so I get, so it's like the van, it's this old van, it's like three across in the front. So I'm sitting right next to Reuben. You, you and know? Reuben, but yeah. I like yeah. this. Did you get a picture of Reuben? No, I should Was he a minor? <laughs> no, he was not a minor. He oh, was, okay. No, he was probably in his like 40s. Okay. Um, I was sitting right next to him, so it would have been awkward to take his picture. But, um, selfie. Yeah. All right. So, hey, Ruben, selfie. So, anyway, <laughs> so if I go missing. <laughs> so, so Ruben starts telling us that he used to be in the Portuguese army in Africa. I thought you were going to say the Port- Portuguese mob. No, no, <laughs> army. So he, and he was in, um, and then he was a truck driver. He's like, don't worry. He's like, these roads are kind of, you know, treacherous, but I used to be a truck driver in Africa, which is like the most dangerous job in the world. And he said he got shot at and he'd had like roadside bombs and he had shrapnel. And he's like, you know, so I'm fine. <laughs> so. Okay. And, and we're sure. We're and sure we believe Ruben, these stories. I know. I'm like. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't believe his stories. But then, and he always, and then I would say something to him and he, always, he would say, yes, madam. Yes, madam. <laughs> and. Um, In a Russian so, accent. So you paid <laughs> for the entertainment. Okay. And he, was, he was very entertaining. So anyway, what's funny. So, so he's like, it takes, he's like, it normally takes 45 minutes to get down to the mountain and, you know, to get back to this other palace. But he's like, I can do it in half that time because I know that all the shortcuts. I can be there in 20. <laughs> so anyway, so he does know. So he's like, there was these crazy little mountain roads, you know, we're in this rickety van and he's saying, yes, the madam. shortcuts in the rickety van. In the so rickety- you're off the GPS now. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but what was hilarious, all, all, all the flags, every flag, <laughs> every flag, Portugal. they're just <laughs> semaphore is they're just. So, and he, he took us past Johnny Depp's house. Apparently Johnny Depp did a movie there. And, um, <laughs> I can't believe the gun. <laughs> Oh my God, Ruben. All right. But what was hilarious, the best thing about Ruben was um, we're going to the, he's like, we're taking a shortcut through this neighborhood. Tourist vans aren't supposed to go here. So if anyone asks, he, he takes his sign down that says 20 years. He's awesome. like, if Lady anyone, five. he says, if anyone asks, we're here to see my mother. My mother <laughs> lives here. I'm like, what's her name? He's like, Antonia. I'm like, okay, we're here. Like, we're going to see You do Antonia. know that Ruben is telling his friends about the dumb tourists. <laughs> <that the, laughs> yeah. There's a whole van full of us. It wasn't just me. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it wasn't just, there were other people yeah, on the van. I just yeah. sitting, I was the only one sitting next to him. So you were, but there was, okay. I'm just picturing like some human trafficking. <laughs> he's got a whole van full. <laughs> now, he's <laughs> going across the border. <laughs> like there's, all anyway. kind, like this is a business there because the buses are so crappy that the people do this. Right. Okay. Like, okay. It's, yeah, we're just making funny. All, all, I know, we're just all kinds of people are getting in all kinds of vans. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't just, um, <laughs> just um, it's that. a thing. It's a thing. Oh, but anyway, so we go through like his mom's neighborhood and then he, and then he's like, and now we're going through a neighborhood that only tourist vans can go through. So he puts his tourist van <laughs> right now. <laughs> Anyway, so we get to the Peña Palace, like the 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 tourist attraction. It's like a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And what's weird is like there's no security. Like you just you know you just go in. I mean, you have a ticket, but you, you had to buy the ticket, but you just walk in. Like it's not right, and you walk through it. It's this these palaces are amazing. 
Oh, wow. Um, and anyway, but we did not get a ride with Ruben on the way back. Oh, man. He, we could have. He's, oh. he's busy he's trafficking other people. It's Well, no, he's five. He's He advertises his prices up front on his laminated sheet. And it's 10 euros to go up and only five to go down. He's like, I'm up front with my pricing, madame. Um, Why is it more to go up? Because he puts it in neutral on the <laughs> <laughs> Probably. 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 Yeah, he just it doesn't cost cost him gas. He doesn't cost him anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's pure profit. <laughs> probably so. Yeah. I think it probably was pure profit. Anyway, so that was, that was a bit of an adventure. I, I, that was 100% worth so 10 euros a I piece. think we all need to travel with Kirsten. I know. Yeah. It's much yeah. more fun traveling with Kirsten. <laughs> I think yeah. so. But let me ask you this. So at one point we were like in a text conversation and you were in the conversation and you uh-huh. were like getting on a train and then like. 10 yes. seconds later, you were like, um, yeah, well, we're on the, the wrong, wrong train. On yes. the wrong train. I don't even remember what that was. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. She <laughs> said that. Yes, she yes, did. Yes, 100% yes. absolutely. Wait, she did. where was I? Okay. Uh, I don't know, but look it was in, funny. And we're all just like. Hold on. I'm looking. Okay. Story yeah. products. <laughs> yeah. That products. ended up being minor. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. It, it worked out. I, I don't know. We text so much. We were, like, I know. It, but anyway. It's okay. Oh, but, so anyway, so the palace is closing. We actually get on the hop on, hop off bus that we paid for to go down the mountain. And it's like standing room only. And it's, you know, these treacherous mountain roads. And we're going down the road on the bus or, you know. Um, anyway, we get to the bottom of the town, which is, you know, this is the number one tourist attraction in Portugal. And it's the end of the day, but it just closed. Like, you know, right? And I was going to get some water and then take my Dramamine again before I got back in the car. Right. But, um, and that was my plan. And, um, but there's like no taxis at the taxi stand. There's one taxi with, that's empty, like with no driver, no taxis. And, um, and the town is deserted. Oh. Which is weird, right? Mm-hmm. Where Where is everybody in Portugal? So many I don't know. They just places. take off. <laughs> and um, so Kevin's like, well, let's wait for your jam I mean, to kick in. I'm like, no, we're getting an Uber because if it's this dead now when we just got off, like somehow this bus is crowded. There's like, you know, 60 people in this bus. And, it, you know, once they get off, like everyone, I don't know where they all went. Secret but, rooms. Yeah. Right? They're, yeah, secret rooms shining. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> so... So we hail an Uber, we get an Uber, we get the first ticket. I'm like, we're getting the first Uber because we're getting out of here because we're in the middle of nowhere. We need to go back to the middle of nowhere and, you know, um, and there's no taxis. So we, we call this Uber and this guy, nice guy picks us up. Jose is our Uber driver. I love how you remember all your driver's names. Well, they're memorable. Okay. All right. So Ruben definitely was. So Jose is like. <laughs> The formula, you know, he's like a 25 year old Formula One driver, apparently. He's, okay, I'm all sorry. Right. And, 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 and I found the text about the wrong train. So when she finished, but, it, oh, I'm sorry to think that like all these drivers are just pulling your leg. Like yeah. they're like, I, they, no, this, is, this guy is not pulling my leg. Okay. This is what he was doing. We get he in. Had a ba- he had a badge. We get in, we <laughs> buckle up, you know, it's cardboard. It said, so Jose, Jose, Formula One. Jose sorry. has two phones. Jose has Whoa. like, Oh, he's got burners. Okay. Uh, no, oh, no. Like, no, worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jose has his Uber driver phone, you know, his regular phone that's got the route. Like it's taking us back to the restaurant near our hotel, uh, like on the beach. He has another phone that he's watching the football game, the soccer game. Oh. So, which, I mean, at first we're like, okay, like you're, we're just in this little town. So I'm like, oh, I guess he can kind of watch the game. Well then like, we're on these crazy mountain roads and he's <laughs> passing people like, you know, why, why watching the game? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm a little uncomfortable now, but you know, we're committed. Jose. <laughs> All right. Jose. You better hope that his team was winning. I, yeah, I hope so. Okay. But, so here's the text about okay. that. Yeah, we yeah. may or may not be on the right train. Oh, I, we were. We are definitely in the wrong car. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we were in the wrong car. And then I think we're headed in the right direction now. There will be stories. Yes. 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 No, we we got on, yeah, we we definitely, I think whatever car we were supposed to be in, like the number wasn't even close. We were like, well, let's just get on here. Like, let's get on and figure it out. 
And then for a while we were like, not sure if we were going the right direction. Sounds but we like were. a good plan. Yeah. Yeah. But it was fine. Everything was fine. I, I am doubt getting you're getting anxiety re- thinking about all of this. <laughs> but oh. she, she's here. She I, returned. Yeah, which is why know? I love so, her. Yeah. But I, I, I want to be more like her. So, so Jose, you know, we're, we're watching the game. <laughs> he's, he's racing <laughs> down the mountain roads. He gets us to our restaurant as the sun is setting over the ocean. Oh, there you go. Beauty. Aww. And go Jose. All Did is right Jose with the world. Did Jose get a good tip? right yeah. with the world. And that was the night before we left. And, and this turns out our shining hotel, it's not really a nighttime place, but the next day, <laughs> so we were there for most of the day before we flew out. It's a big surfer hotel. There's surfers everywhere. Oh, nothing, nothing says it's so shining like surfers. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess they're just, they're, they're they were tired. They're, they yeah. were sleeping. Yeah. Exactly. They, they, well, they do get up really early. They're daytime people, not nighttime. Yeah, people. No, surfers right. get up very yeah. early. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So that explained it. So I mm. felt better about mm. the whole thing. Like it wasn't quite as weird when I knew. I mean, they were just tired. They were, they were, just they were tired. surfing all day. <laughs> Fair enough. So anyway, then we went home. So it was a great trip, though. <laughs> sounds like it was a trip. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. There was some to write all that down. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Good times. Okay. Don't come easy though. No, no, no. 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 That did that whole trip did was, not come easy. I was thinking Jose was going to turn around and go, you know, yeah, this don't, <laughs> don't come, come easy. easy. <laughs> <laughs> only in, he might have. He just might have right, right. We just don't know because right. he only spoke Portuguese. <laughs> he, he was from Brazil. We met up quite a few oh, okay. guys from Brazil. Oh, they speak Portuguese there. They do. Yes. But it sounds different. Um, but yeah, no, it was a good time. Good. Okay. Excellent. Aww. So had yeah. some good food, all the, but yeah, I, it's funny because when we first got home, I was like, yeah, I don't really have any stories. And then oh, you yeah, thought about it. Always, you just always, yeah. sit for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Then you like, have to, you know and what? you're like, oh yeah, there was that guy. And then, I, but yeah, Jose, and then, oh, Ruben. <laughs> yeah. Ruben was definitely, that's a story. Yeah. So uh, anyway. making friends. Okay. So I know you had some stuff. Yeah. Uh, you did. You did you that weird us. AI thing. So yeah, I mean, yeah. What's okay, the weird? So no I missed what we're talking about. You mean, <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. I it was in the chat. It was well, in yeah, the chat. I didn't so what, I, there's this cool. I didn't have any context. I, I um, obviously am the AI guy. AI guy. Yes, he is. So I'm always looking up new technologies and whatnot like that. And there is, I came across this thing called Google. No, sorry, Notebook LM. Is what it is called. Notebook LM, large model. That's what we were talking about at our happy hour. I didn't put the two things together. You should have really? come over to our the happy notebook, hour. The notebook, actually talking about this? That's what they were talking about, LM. Never heard of it. Notebook LM or just LM? I don't know. They said LM. Okay. L- and language. Then, and then Google got an mention. LLM is usually large language model, and that's oh. what your JPTs uh, are and your uh, anthropic and all that You needed stuff. to be at the, at the happy hour <laughs> instead of teaching. So I, I don't want to I don't want to bore anybody, but- I will suggest to our audience and every anybody, there is something called Notebook LM, and it is by Google, and it, it is Kevin, free. Notebook LM, I'm texting myself. It is you, awesome. You might not even have to well, because AI. I will. wish I would have had this back in my education days. So, so and to, how to would it catch, help you? Oh, go ahead. No, no. To no, as I say, to catch Kirsten up because she's not following yeah. as to what happened. So yeah. remember. Aaron sent us a clip of a yeah of podcast. talking about us two people. Okay, so okay, what was I, that? okay. Yeah, so, I just saw that and with no context, I didn't know what was going on. I meant to ask, and so I just never. That wasn't real. Oh, that it That's sounded so real. So okay, okay. I thought she really liked. I thought she was into us. So I know, this right? notebook Nobody's going to talk about you, us. <laughs> Who's talking about us? So you are yeah. able to I was upload. Feeling good about myself for it a is an experimental large language model that is in research right now. And again, this is what we're going to be using in the future, especially kids. So what you can do is you can take highly complex documents or any kind of documents or audio or really anything. Um, you can take research papers from wherever and you can upload as far as I can tell 50 of them. But really if you're taking like, let's just say five, seven, nine research papers, and you all upload them all to this notebook, you can then have conversations with it about the material that's in it. 
So it can give you quizzes about it. It can oh. give you surveys about it. It can give you a summary about it. It can give you like a breakdown of it. It does it in many different ways for you to be able to take the information and be able to understand it. Then also you can type questions into it and ask questions about the information and then it will tell you to you in a way that makes sense to you. Yes. Wow. So you can learn. So like cool. having a tutor. It is yeah. exactly like. So there are multiple apps that for college students mm-hmm. that, 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 is a, <clears throat> that, that, that yes, that they just record, they record the lecture on the phone. So that does this as and well. It, it transcribes it, it and then notes, you can actually it makes talk. Quizzes, yep. It this, does this all is the these same things. Thing. Yes. I've but seen those. In addition, okay. off to the right hand side, you can click a button and it will make a podcast about the information. No way. So you can just, we could just And phone because in. it's an experimental <laughs> like mode. Dial right? it in from now on. Right, can we? Not doing, we're not talking anymore. <laughs> because it's exper- experimental, it's only, you can only have two, they choose the voices. It's a woman right. and, a, and a guy. I imagine later on, you'll be able to, Choose the different characters, how many characters were, are within the conversation. But nonetheless, it will then take your whatever you're uploading and then create a podcast from that. I imagine you'll also have control over that eventually, like how long the podcast is or what content you want it to focus on. Um, but so far, again, the one that I sent you, the guy is very dry. Yes. She has. She seemed real. She seems kind she, of real. She um, thought she was into us. She, but they, no. it's cool because now there are, they're, they're laughing. They kind of put those right. words like in there that make it more tendencies. human-like. <laughs> and it's really interesting because at first you're like, wow, this sounds real. This is weird. This the, is at very At first she sounded odd. real, but then the guy didn't. He started talking yeah. about ostriches or something weird like that. Well, that. That we discussed us. Oh, we, no, they, no, that was they, us. Again, oh. I uploaded. Yes, that that's us. That was called that. Where was I? <laughs> what? That was not the mistake of the computer. That was ours. So to <laughs> test it, I was talking about ostriches. Yeah. Yes, no, I remember I, that conversation. And everybody, I, I don't. Everybody in the audience right now is going, "Yeah, we remember." Yeah. That. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Yeah. No, I they're, they're, they're voting for the AI yeah. version of us right now. Sorry, so, yeah, sorry, to, listeners, you're stuck with us. To yeah, test it out, I I wanted to see if I could upload five of our episodes, oh, just MP3s. Yeah. Just, I didn't do anything else. Just upload five of our episodes and then press make a podcast out of this. <gasps> and it went through all of that information and then pulled out all of the pulled things that we had talked about. And, and, and significant comments about ostriches. She was saying how awesome we were. And I was like, yeah, dude, this is great. Awesome. I love her. I was her. like, we I have a review. Her. It was I very know. complimentary. So did you listen to the whole thing? I did, yeah. I it was rather interesting thing. how it did tie it all up at the very end. I didn't have to listen to that. In a nice little wrapped bow. Kind of like we and, do. Like yes, we do. Kind of, yeah, exactly like we do. And it, that don't come easy. <laughs> hey, yeah. and yeah. it don't hey, come we easy. Always bring it back. <laughs> we always bring it back around. We do. I'm glad that they were paying we attention enough to do that. We may go a lot of different that. directions, unlike Ruben, who goes straight down. So yes. that's what that was all about. It was <laughs> straight it, down on coast. very interesting that, that that option is out there and that we are advancing to that point, I would have loved to have something like that. I, I will was. say when you first sent it, I was walking the dogs. So, and I have really bad headphones. Mm. So I couldn't hear like uh-huh. that. It wasn't quite yeah, right. Yeah. But even still, but like, even, yeah. uh, to the unknowing person, you play it and you're like, that sounds like two people talking right, about us. It who does. is that? And that's yeah, what I that's said. What I, 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 was, I was wondering too. I, yeah. I, and I texted right back. I'm like, who is that? Like, who could possibly be talking about us on another podcast? I was very flattered. <laughs> for like, I, was, I know. Me too. And Until then, the downer over here. And then Kirst, uh, Christine goes, that doesn't sound real. And I was like, ah, oh, oh, shit, he did it again. He, sorry. <laughs> I know. Sorry. I was so disappointed. I'm like, sorry I to be the buzzkill. To be, to I, give I felt the, so good. To give the audience a little sample. Yeah, give okay. a sample. All right. You know, I always thought I was pretty well versed in 80s and 90s music, but these set list of life podcasts you shared, well, they really surprised me. I mean, it's just four friends kind of hanging out, reminiscing, but they stumble onto some fascinating stories about musicians from that era. It's amazing what these casual conversations reveal. She Not sounds just about totally the music real. Itself, she sounds about real. the unexpected she sounds paths these like artists her? take. Oh, public very much so. Example. We don't. Did you know <laughs> we don't? Now an ostrich farmer. Young girl. Oh, ostrich that's not me in my tract. An ostrich farmer. What's that about? It speaks to this intriguing trend of very... musicians seeking ground. Yes. You know, there's no. Far from the spotlight. Remember, not yet. Faith no more. Their guitarist became a farmer too. 
Although, oh, I do. Yeah, remember this is where that's this. where it started to get like, okay, wait, that doesn't. That's sound right. right. The guy from but Faith No More did her have whole beginning form. thing. Yeah, it, that sounded real. It, it, it's so creepy. The that last that's half of AI. just like, wow, they're really getting deep, and right, it makes sense. It's and weird. this is kind of strange because they do. They talk about what we had talked about in terms of um, musicianship. They they talk a lot about for whatever reason they really attached to Janet Jackson and uh, live for whatever reason. Because we had that one episode where we yeah. talked in depth about them. So, but yeah, I'm building a room because <laughs> a secret room and it's going to be secret. It's going to be secret. And I'm going to live there now because Cause that's creeping you out. That's just creeping me out. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I 100% yeah. agree yeah. with you, yeah. but not as creepy as what you sent us. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. So let's get on to Instagram. Oh my. Oh yeah. That I enjoy Instagram. Or maybe let's Instagram. get off of Instagram. I hate Instagram. I almost. I yeah. I'm. I'm it's going to be one of those things. Short lived. Uh, yeah, it was short lived. It's. It's going to be one of those that things in the background. Okay. Yeah. What the heck did I click on to get <laughs> this skinny French woman who? Sort Hasn't of washed looked her like hair like in one a of the time. twins from the show. Yes. <laughs> she did look like one of the And she had this shiny. like greasy hair thing yeah. and this uh, like kind of weird outfit with a bracelet. And she was kind of showing, I think she was showing us her outfit. I don't know. It was weird. And then she kind of backed up and I'm like, what? She has a whole what? series what? though. What is the this? point of this video? But, so I looked on her like site and it it's, it's all just Well, now you're getting outfits. a bunch of strange yeah. videos. No, I didn't like anything though because <laughs> I didn't want to interact. Out. Right. Yeah. But even so, you don't, like we discussed, you don't even have to like it no. if you yeah. pause, if you on, pause it on it or look at extra. Now you're going to get her yeah. all the time. She's going to be popping up. Left and right, but I'm. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with Instagram because it, 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 just like Facebook. Like first few minutes, I'm like, oh, interesting, cool, cute, and then twenty minutes later, you're like, why am I still looking? And at I this? and I'm and I'm angry. Yeah, like I'm the, everything that they're showing me is pissing me off. <laughs> so, you know, right, clearly because, because you don't know me. <laughs> right, you don't know me. Instagram is a time suck. It really, it does. Really, it is really is. Mm -hmm. It's. Uh, I like it though. It's. <laughs> I like it. I like a good time suck. <laughs> yeah, I I get mad. I get mad. I, I don't. Mad. It, it irritates me. I don't oh, you understand. You just gotta follow the right people. It's not even that. No, I don't, it's not no. about that. It's literally like I just spent. 20 minutes. Oh. So are you mad at yourself? Well, uh, partly, so but I it's like also, to, yeah. you can learn what something is our on society? There, though. Like literally you stood in a dress <laughs> and yeah. greased, your hair. greased your hair. <laughs> that was weird. And I literally watched that. But you that. watched it. <laughs> and <laughs> why is this My happening? My life is what better, we the better for it. Exactly. Yeah. That was a, yeah. Yeah. I, but you can also get like some, I don't like, have Instagram. Good no, no, recipes no, I know, on there. and. I don't know. We have workout tips. Yeah, again, but I like to follow I've seen artists. Hundreds of recipes that I'm always like, oh, that'll be and can't find it. No, no, I don't. I I will never <laughs> make it. that recipe. Yeah, see, it, it is literally gone. And I and I will say, and maybe it's just me again, but most of the reels that come up are ads. Yeah, there's ads a lot of ads for one thing or another. Mm. So it's just it's mostly advertising with a few yeah, which interesting is why, which things. Which is why it's there. Spec right, yeah. and and so that's what Media. like uh, it, yeah, yeah. I'm, it's not for me, okay. not for me. All right, I mean I'll keep it on the phone for when people send me reels. Yeah, but, so you can read them. But you, right, but yeah. I'm 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 done. She She's has out better things to do. I'm out. Leslie out. It's less than two weeks, and I'm out. Wow, that's I'm good. It's out. Good. Okay, that was it's you're good. Whew, you're more mature. <laughs> stay strong. <laughs> Get that off this, my chest. This end of the table over here. Yeah. Nah. I'm probably still going to waste my life. <laughs> okay. Because you, you also You got do in a van things. with Ruben. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You live a little more on the edge. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm all, and I'm fine. You're good. See, yeah, it's all good. I have you always, always, you always come out on top. An adventure. Yeah. <laughs> the most yeah. exciting thing I did this week was create an infographic for school. Ooh. Which I have to say, how, how, how did you create? I did an excellent job. How'd you do it? I used Canva. Canva, all right, yeah, yeah. yeah. love Canva. But Canva's I didn't nice. use one of their templates. I used, I did it myself. Oh, oh. Yeah. But, impressive! Yeah, feel good after that. Yeah, I mean, the data took me all of a few hours to collect. The the making the thing, two days. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not a kid anymore, but. That was That's my impressive, segment. though. You did it. I did do it. Way to go. Proud of myself. You should be. What That's is the infographic deal. on? It's an environmental scan of a library. Hmm. 
down here and the community around it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not all that exciting. Well, but I mean, you did it. I did. Yeah. Too. And then I wrote a 12 page paper as well. Wow. And among other things, for yeah. school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crushing it. Still doing the whole thumbs up on school? Yeah, still yeah. loving it. Yeah, yeah awesome. I'm still loving it. That's very, amazing. Very much so. And how Thank you. far do you have to go? Um, Still far. I mean, I have six credits completed to 30 credit masters. Um, so at the end of it. this semester, I'll have 12 credits complete. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's a not going to take that's, On yeah. your way. On your way. Three mm -hmm. semesters, maybe mm -hmm. a little more. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping by the end of next fall, but we'll see. That's, that's, but great. I'm enjoying it. So yeah. it doesn't really actually no. matter. Yeah. Enjoy the right. journey. Yeah. It's enjoy not the about journey. the destination. Yeah, you don't have to rush through it. You can enjoy it. And met some good people, albeit online, but I've met some good people, good people in the class. Cool. That's it's how it always starts. Yeah. No. <laughs> I met some good people. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. Anyway. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, kids, I, I, I hate to cut a short tonight. Yeah, I know. I know. Christine but has Christine to go. Christine has to yeah, go. she does. I have to go help my little one, big one, tall one. She with has his college applications. Mm. Things right. to do, people to see, places to go. So um, it was a short one, but that's better than no <laughs> podcast. I have actually gotten a couple of like different people have texted me going, are you guys still doing the podcast? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes life gets in we, the way. We, we disappear sometimes, but we'll let you know if we're off for good. Like we wouldn't leave yeah, everybody no. hanging. The set list of life. <laughs> at at gmail.com. Gmail. <laughs> yes. See, that's right. We'd love that's to hear right. from you. <laughs> we want, we'd love to hear from you. Love it. And we do have an Instagram book. Oh, well, Aaron posted one thing. That was nice. Yeah, I put a reel up. I of, should have. I wish I had a picture of Ruben. <laughs> yeah, just because I thought it was funny. We could put up pictures. I don't yeah. know. That Usually if there's like a funny spot, I'll try to capture that and throw it out there somewhere in the ether. But Fair. Very cool. Oh, my goodness All right. gracious. All right. Well, <laughs> right, this has been a lot of fun. This has been a lot of fun. It's been... Even though it don't come easy. It, was, yeah. it did not it come did easy not. tonight. <laughs> it, believe us, people. This Never did not come. Yeah. I Sometimes. think it probably did tonight. <laughs> More so than last week. <laughs> we were struggling. I, I thought last week was funny. Which is always get funny. Oh. I enjoyed <laughs> it. It's always funny. But I enjoyed we were, listening. We were mirandering. Mirand we were, we were mirandering. You were, let, were making it, letting it linger. <laughs> meandering <laughs> you just were saying two seconds ago <laughs> uh, anyway yeah, all right, right. Anyway. well all right. on that happy the, note that means it time love to you go. all love thank you all. you all for joining us for the latest episode of the set list of life good night good night, good night.